Hey everyone, it's time once again for another Consumerist Piglet Clothing Haul. Now I've been told by some people that they actually enjoy watching these videos, so uh, you can blame them for the fact that I'm continuing to do this. Other people are sickened by it. But uh, in any case, these are the packages that have been accumulating uh, in my bedroom since basically the last time I did a clothing haul, which was six months ago. So uh, obviously we've been in lockdown, I've had a little more time on my hands, maybe a little more money, maybe a little too much money on my hands, and uh, I need to stress two things. First off, I have no conceivable reason to buy another article of clothing for the next 10 years. It's just obscene at this point. And uh, secondly, everything here with one qualified exception was bought at steep discount. So uh, basically everything in my apartment was bought at steep discount, but uh, so I, I'm actually pretty, I'm actually a pretty savvy shopper, but uh, it's kind of my, my OCD. So uh, let's, let's dive in and start with this. This is a Helmet Lang orange, neon orange hoodie. Now I'm not going to try this on, but uh, it's very like early 90s Belle Biv DeVoe. So uh, in, in whatever, six months, uh, I'll get back to watching. I have too many jackets. In like North Carolina, there's like like two months out of the year you have to wear a jacket, so it's it's excessive. So these packages, of course, there are a lot of t-shirts. I'm going to give a I'm giving a lot of my t-shirts to like Goodwill and stuff to my sister because because I just don't have room to store them anymore. But uh, yes, first off. This is a gold foil logo t-shirt from Adidas. I'm actually impressed by this, by the cotton here. It's very luxe. But yes, gold foil t-shirt from Adidas. And uh, a little detritus there. But yes, very nice. Actually, pleasantly surprised by that. This is a green shirt. Green t-shirt from Diesel, V-neck. Basically, I don't have any any uh, t-shirt in that shade of evergreen, so kind of kind of needed to have it because I need a, a different t-shirt in every each of the thirty different shades of green, which I can all I, I can name all of them by the way because I went to graphic design school. This is what is this? Saul Angeles. Uh, I got this in the big package from Saks Fifth Avenue. I ended up returning the expensive things, but I kept this and then the cheaper thing. But yes, I like it very dark and it has the, the palm trees and stuff. This is another Hugo Boss or Boss. They kind of did a, 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 a Hyundai with their, with their uh, brand. I think for a while they were kind of like the, the Hyundai of the fashion world and they kind of resuscitated their brand. Until I worked at a, a, a phone bank cold calling people, I actually didn't realize how much people hated Hyundai, but that's, that's another story. But yes, abstract, kind of leafy design, uh, green, yellow, my colors. I like leafy designs. I like feathery designs. I like birdie designs. Here's another Hugo Boss. These are just... I have no brand loyalty to anything. I just I just find things I like. This is... I like this. This is kind of cyberpunk. I know exactly how I'm going to wear this, but it has this little iridescent uh, rectangle on it. But yes, very much like that. This is a Volcom. What's oh, a tank top? Kind of sherbet green. Gonna wear that under a under a Hawaiian shirt. Jeez, I have a lot of stuff. Alternative apparel. This is like a, a baseball shirt, it's a three quarter length sleeves. Oh geez, okay, so, so I try not to spend like too much money unless it's something I don't have 
like anything the equivalent of. That was a horribly constructed sentence, by the way. But unless it's like something where, where I'm getting something where there's no equivalent in my wardrobe, I'm not going to spend a lot of money because it's stupid. So that's the way I could justify this because yeah, I, did, I did spend a little extra money on this. But it is a Belmont, Belmont uh, t-shirt hoodie. And you can see the, the pulls here. And here's the hood. And uh, these are appliques. They actually look like, like, like pieces of steel, but they're actually little metallic appliques. Very cool. Uh, I think that's, that's good if I'm like in a, in a, if I actually travel again and I find myself in like another city, I don't know what the weather is going to be. Now, I like, I'm, I don't uh, spend a lot of money unless I like have no equivalent in my wardrobe. Then I bought this, which is like exactly the same thing, but then I spent like nine dollars on this. So I could actually justify it. This is a t-shirt hoodie from Calvin Klein. Very nice. I like that shade of green. What is this? Yes, so for once I actually have pants. You'll notice I don't I don't unpack too many pants in these things. Pants pants are a complicated thing. It's it's really hard to buy pants off the internet. But yes, these are the, geez, I know, these are helmet lang again. And these are kind of, like, kind of dressy, casual pants with an orange tuxedo stripe. So I can try to like go grocery shopping or something without looking homeless. Again, I don't really have any sort of equivalent for that in my wardrobe. Uh, geez, isn't this an impressive looking box? Chanel. But uh, it's actually, it's almost worth it just to have the box alone. It's actually a uh, fragrance. Onteos, which is which is not to be confused with with the horrendously more expensive uh, Creed Aventus, which I, I had those confused for many years. But uh, this is the one thing I didn't buy at discount, and uh, I found out that if you go on the website, you could actually get the three ounce, where I couldn't find it in any retailer, so it's just cheaper to buy directly from the website. Plus, I get two samples. Bleu, Bleu de Chanel, and Platinum Egoiste. You can choose, you can choose which samples you want if you buy directly off the website. So, uh, I would suggest just buying it directly off the website, not from a retailer, because it's actually a better deal. But, uh, yeah, one of those samplers has lasted me for like 15 years, so this is definitely, definitely a lot. This is Boss, Hugo Boss, underwear, blue underwear, I don't need to take that out, you know what underwear looks like. Oh. This is an MCM lanyard with a certificate of authenticity and, and silica gel packets. Again, if and when I actually get to traveling again, I can I can have this around my neck and it will make things a lot easier rather than having to reach in my pockets or in, in the luggage or something. Let me show you that again. I didn't really display it. A, a little card carrying case lanyard. Oh boy, <laughs> we're, get, we're getting to the dregs here. Uh, a pair of Y3 socks. Again, neon orange, kind of my thing. And, uh, geez. Tube socks, large, have big feet. And finally, uh, a necktie you know, from... From, so I think it's I think it's John Varvados I think is is who does this I, can, I can't see the brand right here I'm not gonna take it out but yes uh, that's actually the one thing I don't have in my wardrobe I would like in time to actually get a, a made-to-measure suit 
but uh, I there would be no way for me to justify that expenditure at this time. So that's like the only gap in my wardrobe right now. But uh, I really hope you enjoyed that, and uh, believe me, there will be more on-topic videos for my channel. Obviously, this is a time for craziness. So uh, thank you very much, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.